Hey everyone, it's Seb de la Web, and today I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process of setting up the Flatsum theme on a fresh WordPress installation. We will cover everything from installing the theme, activating the child theme, skipping the basic presets that you don't need anyway, and getting your initial configuration right. If you're just starting off with your WooCommerce journey and want a solid Flatsum setup, you're in the right place. Let's dive in. Right, so this is my WordPress page. Uh, productpagepack.septelaweb.com. I'm going to sell pre-made designs for product pages for WooCommerce, which is great. I'm already doing this, but I'm going to make it even better. But I'm going to install Flatsome Fresh. Normally I would just copy uh, and duplicate a clone of an existing installation, but, but I wanna have like a complete fresh setup. And maybe you're just starting off with your WooCommerce journey and you wanna know how to install the Flatsome the best way as possible. Uh, to do this, you need to search on Flatsome Download, which will take you to ThemeForce from Envato and need to purchase your li license. Make sure to purchase one. You don't wanna have illegal files uh, around uh, because if you're selling stuff, working with payment providers, you can get a lot of shit when there's stuff within your theme files. So buy your license. And once you've done this, you can click the download button Download the files, all the files, not only the installable files. Make sure to click on all files. It will give you a zip file within your downloads folder. Extract this, and then you can go to the theme file section. This is what you need. This is the parent theme. This is the child theme, and we need to install both. So going back to my installation, and this is an English setup. I need to go to appearance, going to themes, click on add theme, clicking on upload theme, and I can easily drag and drop. And I'm going to start with my parent theme for it first. I'm going to install, but not activate because I'm going, going to activate my child theme. So I'm going to do the same upload theme, choose file or drag and drop my child theme, going to install it and activate that. So this is my theme library and every theme that I'm not using besides Flatsum, I want to make sure to delete that. So we keep a clean theme library, which isn't in interfering for performance and also not in terms of vulnerability for hackers and spam. So this is my setup. I have my child team, my Flatsome team, and the child team is the, ones, the one that I've activated it. Because if you're doing custom modifications to the Flatsome team, you're, good, you're going to do that within your child team, and then you're able to easily update the main theme, which contains all the files. As you can see, I'm just going to quickly extract so you can see the difference. So this is the child team, which is, in, is not containing a lot of files, as you can see. But the main theme, the Flatsome theme, contains all the important theme files. So make sure to download and upload both and activate only the Flatsome child theme. Once you have done this, you will get this recommendation of certain plugins, but I always like to choose my plugins whenever I'm ready for it. Don't just start to install whatever is recommended because I don't personally like Contact Form 7 and also not really much the social login. So just dismiss this notice and whenever you're ready, start to install the plugins that you need. And you need to click dismiss this notice. If you don't do this, it start to appear and again and again and again. So very annoying. So now you're ready and you can just go to the front end and this is the basic Flatsum setup. It's not very good looking though, but now you definitely know that Flatsum has been activated. I can go to the back end and the main important things that I wanted to show you is go to Flatsum and you wanna make sure to register your team because that will give you the option to auto update the team whenever there's a new release. So I'm going to add my purchase code. And to do this, I need to go to my licenses and I need to find, well, as you can see, I have a lot of licenses available, but I need to first search and find one that is not registered to a specific domain. And this is the one that I'm going to copy. Going back, filling out the, uh, pasting in the purchase code. I'm going to confirm that everything is as it should be, as legit as possible. And now you can see that the theme is registered. The status is all green check boxes, check marks. So I'm totally okay with my setup. Again, this is Flatson 3.19.12. So maybe the setup, setup has been changed a little bit, but I wanted to make this video for the people that are just starting off now in 2025. So once I have did the theme registra registration, I also wanna make sure that the auto updates are, um, 
are going to be auto update. And if it's not enabled, you can do this by going again to appearance teams, click on the mother team or the parent team, and then enable the auto updates. And now all the auto updates will be done. You can also get the beta releases, meaning if you're more like a technical person or a developer, you can go to content delivery. No, uh, it's updates. And then you, at the moment, it's by default set to stable, but you also can get the releases which are in the beta. Uh, I personally recommend if you don't have a lot of coding or technical skills, just stay with the stable version. All right, now let, let me just run through some basic settings that I personally like to activate. So these are quite good when it comes to performance. And what I mean by performance is just when it comes to um, optimization for speed in most cases. So you can preload the pages, you can lazy load the images, you can even disable the team style CSS. Maybe if you don't want to use emojis, you can disable that. So there's a lot to disable, but keep in mind, Use with caution, because if you're working with optimization plugins, it can have some interference. So when you're working with WP Rocket or any other optimization plugin, and some things are not really working as they should, just go ahead, going to advanced again performance and just enable or disable them just to see if there's any conflict between your optimization plugins. But for now, I would just enable them all. Um, one other thing that I'd like to show you is that portfolio, is one of the options within the Flatsome team, but I don't like the portfolio functionality and I'm not using it a lot because I don't create a lot of portfolio websites. So to disable this, just go to the portfolio section also within the Flatsome Advanced, and then you can just uh, disable this check, mark save all changes, and then when you ref refresh, the portfolio option will be disabled. Also what I'd like to disable is the Flatsome content support. And by default, this is this is also enabled. But if you're not having a previous Flatsome website created with a very old version, you definitely want to disable this because that speeds up the website as well. One of the other things that I like personally to, uh, to disable is the integration of the Flatsome Studio. And what I mean by that, if you don't have, I'm going to open up the UX Builder, which is the builder of Flatsome. I'm going to click on add elements and the Flatsome Studio is a great library with pre-made designs that I mostly created when I was still a part of the design team of the Flatsome uh, team. Um, but I still these days create my websites and web shops from scratch and I don't really like to work with presets. If you do, that's totally fine, but it's also good in terms of performance and speed just to disable that if you're not working with presets. So to do this, go to Flatsome, Advanced, go to Integration, and then you can also disable that. So that's about it. That's uh, how you can install in just a few minutes your Flatsome installation. Most importantly, work with a Flatsome child team. Uh, go to the Flatsome Advanced section where you can do some performance checks. Make sure to set up the team registration and also make sure to enable the auto updates so you're always up to date. And you definitely want to do this because you, when WooCommerce or WordPress or any other plugins are updating, you want to make sure that the Flatsome team is updated to the latest version as well. So thanks again for watching. I hope that you're creating great websites or webshops with the Flatsome team. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.